I wanted to be president at a university where I could be close to the action. Fifty years ago, our community's dream for a university became a reality. And for half a century, with a 40-year presence in Oshawa, Trent University has been challenging the way we think about the world. And learning itself. It was a wonderful thing to have the good luck to be asked to join in the starting of a new university. It's rather a special occasion, a special opportunity, and I must say I enjoyed virtually day and every hour of it ever since. It arose from the banks of the Otonabee River in the heart of the Kawarthas, land of the shining waters. Trent was founded through the efforts of a citizens committee interested in creating a university to serve the Trent Valley. They delivered on that promise and with a hundred acre donation from Canadian General Electric, Trent had found its home. So, from where did the first seed fall? It began simply enough, with a letter, entitled, Make Good Use of the Gas Money. It was sent December 5, 1957, to then publisher and editor of the Peterborough Examiner, Robertson Davies. Let us not dissipate the money from the sale of our gas services in little things. Let us invest in something really big. The junior college, which will pay dividends for generations to come, and benefit every man, woman, and child in Peterborough. Fortunately, Reginald Ferryon's challenge found a lot of support within the community. From its humble first digs in downtown Peterborough, 102 students attended that inaugural year. Under the tutelage of First President T. H. B. Simons and guided by Master Architect Ronald J. Tom, a long-range plan was devised for what would now become the familiar and iconic new home for the fledgling university. Yeah. From 1964 to 1968, in a flurry of engineering and creative genius, Trent grew from the very bedrock of the area. Ron Tom sought to maintain visual coherence by enshrining limestone aggregate concrete and timber as the primary materials of the campus. His vision so extensive that it included original designs for both fixtures and furniture. It was the best of times, and it was the first at times. The first university in Canada to offer comprehensive programs in both Canadian and Indigenous studies. Trent actively sought out international partnerships and exchange programs. Its mandate was, and remains today, rooted in the belief that higher education is the key to both social justice and economic productivity for individuals and for society as a whole. Everything was an experiment. We were all very young and we all had this tremendous energy. We all had this, these real hopes for where the university could go. And one of them was that it should have a close relationship with its community and that it should have a major focus on teaching and research about Canada. Achieving engaged citizenship. I think it's about getting students to the point where um, they know how to be contributing members of, of our society. Because students in their lives not only need to learn how to take in knowledge, they have to know how to explain knowledge, how to present a point of view to other people. So that when you go home at Thanksgiving, the first Thanksgiving following your arrival at Trent, uh, when you come back, you will say, I caused a lot of trouble at Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> it's those moments where we get a chance to be surprised by the ideas that we have access to. That Those are really the best moments that I have here at Trent. And that specialness comes from uh, commitment, engagement, 
participation. So many students have said to me that the colleges made them feel that they were a part of Trent, that they mattered. And one of the great things about Trent is that the professors teach the seminars and tutorials in the second year through to the fourth year. And that in the tutorials, particularly in the humanities, they're encouraging students to think about the readings, to develop their ideas, to engage with us and challenge us on what some of the essential ideas are. And we develop such strong relationships with the students. We get to know them really well. We encourage their learning. The tutorial system is wonderful. And that is making the role of the teacher and the professor to me much more important. Because only humans can do that. Trent, uh, it needs to hold on to that strength in teaching. I think also, you know, think about the geographical position of Trent. So, uh, really, Trent uh, is one of the most beautiful campuses in Canada. There's just no question about it. I looked at the tall angularity of a few finely proportioned buildings, grey but not austere, standing castle-like in the diamond snow of a clear January day. And at the river, crusted ice and darkly shining water, flowing so closely that it appeared almost to be winding in and through the buildings, a part of them are they a part of it. That was my first view of Trent some years back. I realized I'd never before seen a campus which looked so beautiful in the winter. Um, I was wondering, when you hear the word Trent, what's the first thing that you think of? The bridge. Collaborative. Inspiring. Inclusive. A focus on social justice. The small community. My dream job. Awesome. Trent experience is humbling, first and foremost for me. Uh, the connection to the water and to the land, um, people from all over the world being here, um, and the mentorship and the encouragement that the professors here provided me with. There's something special about place, something special about endeavor in an environment like this. You had this remarkable place where people spoke to each other, so the disciplines were not separated. We're small enough that you can collaborate and communicate across disciplines and, uh, and at a bigger place uh, you don't get that, that personal touch, you don't get the interaction with colleagues or students that you get at Trent. There's a kind of spontaneous combustion that happens when you put a young person in touch with possibility and you open up a world of potential change that they can effect. And a boy from Hong Kong could have felt very lonely in this beautiful landscape. The trend gave me not just excellent education, it gave me friends. At Trent, we don't just know your name, we know you as a learner. And part of that is just the individual personal connections that we have. Exactly, all the professors know you by name. Once you get to upper year, you really get to go at work right in the research lab instead of just watching from the sidelines. You're actually able to meet the teacher, talk to the teacher, and actually be able to ask them questions on a personal level and actually get to know them as a person rather than just an instructor. Enable a young person to be exposed to research in their third or fourth undergraduate year. Invariably, that young person is working directly with a professor. They are being introduced and mentored and guided into that new world through the eyes of someone who's already been in that arena. And they're not just a number, it's not a factory approach to education. I come from a small town and a small high school, small elementary school, so I knew that I wanted to have a smaller feel. My students very politely call me doctor and professor. By the end of the term, they're calling me Kate. Right off the bat, I was able to meet them at the open houses, and then day one when I went to the classes, I was able to get to know them, and they remembered me, and that was something that was really special to me. Faculty here really are engaged with students. They want to know they're doing well, and I think they really uh, try their best to help them succeed in their degrees. 
when I was doing my undergrad here, I knew all my professors by first name. And I was able to directly go up to them and ask questions. And by the time they graduate, I'm able to write very personal letters saying you should hire this student whom I've gotten to know over four years. The more that I have the opportunity to run into a student in the hallways, the better the chance that we'll be able to challenge one another, grow together, learn together, and discover new and brilliant ideas together. So challenge the way you think. 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 Challenge the way you think.